What's up Bafflers? James Hooter here. Sandisk has released the one terabyte micro SD card, but this card isn't Sandisk. It was a dubious eBay find. Bargain of the century or destined for disaster? Dun 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 dun. And they will trade a T flash card, micro SD card with an adapter, very nice. So it's waterproof, shockproof, and anti magnetic. That's always a good thing. Yeah, it can do HD video and it can work with a camera apparently. So that'd be interesting. On the back, we have a few specs suspiciously that only go up to 32 gigabytes. I don't know if you can see that. Come on, I'm gonna make a right pig out of this. Yes, hooray. Destruction always wins. Micro SD adapter with one terabyte card. So yeah, it doesn't really look that legit from the packaging. So we have a micro SD card and we'll put it in there. That didn't seem to really go in very well. That was a very tight. Yeah, I'm not gonna get that back out now, am I? So let's go ahead and put the one terabyte micro SD card into the laptop. Please don't explode. A few minutes later. Hooray! A secure digital storage device has appeared. So if you hover over it, it does actually say 998 gigabytes. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of bytes. If that's legit, that is a lot of storage. Luckily, I've got some software which should determine whether this is legit or whether this is a completely false card. So let's go ahead and open it up. So HD test W, let's have it in English, please. Target. So the target is... Secure digital storage device. So there's no existing test data. We're gonna test all available space. Write and verify. So what this program does is copy one terabyte of files onto your card. And if any of that actually fails, then it will pop up and say it's failed. What these cards generally do if they are fake is overwrite constantly. So as soon as you get beyond the actual capacity of it, it will just overwrite and you'll lose all your data, so it's really not ideal. After 17 hours to write and 3 hours to verify, the results are in. The card has completely failed the test. The media is likely to be defective. Writing speed is 16 megabytes per second and reading speed is 5.11 megabytes per second. It would classify as a class 10 card. When you look on Windows, all seems perfectly normal. In the folder, all files look intact. Despite it being able to copy 998 gigabytes of files, it is only able to read 29 gigabytes of those files. That means this card will lose a massive 969 gigabytes of files. I would not rely on this card whatsoever. The shocking part is that these fake cards are being openly sold on eBay. My card says LL Trader, although this is just a brand name. If you're looking for a real one terabyte card, check the link in the description. If you're new around here, hit subscribe and ding the bell icon. Never miss out on another video. Until next time, follow me at TechBaffle and stay curious at techbaffle.com.